2018, the birth of the ab series and the first abs pro. It was a competition like no other at the time, involving the best tested and untested lifters battling out on the platform. No politics, winner takes all. At the time we had Barry Piggott, who was the IPF world record holder, Brona McPeak, the Irish IPF number one, the legendary Lena O'Sullivan, and of course, Big Nero, who was the pound for pound number one ranked male across all federations. The competition was an all Irish affair, but it set the standard of what the Abs Pro was and was going to be with high quality lifting, big numbers, and a crowd seen nowhere else on the island of Ireland. Abs Pro 1 saw Barry Piggott go nine for nine with a clinical performance. His first in wraps, winning the Abs Pro, beating Big Nero. Lino Sullivan, after a dodgy start, came back to beat the IPF number one Brona at peak and solidify herself as one of the greatest Irish powerlifters to ever grace the platform. Abs Pro 1 really set a precedent to what untested powerlifting could be. For the following year, Abs Pro 2, so an influx of international lifters all wanted to take part and be part of the next big thing. 2019, we've seen a host of international lifters joining the platform, including Heather Connor, IPF world champion, and Big Arthur from Poland. From Ireland, we've seen Jake Brennan and Laura Volgasan up their games and challenge for the ABS Pro title narrowly losing to Heather and Arthur. The Abs Pro soon grew a reputation across Europe, being known for its strict standards, high speed, pace, and of course, head-to-head -head competition. 2020, the Abs Pro was lined up to be the biggest competition in Europe, without a doubt. But unfortunately, COVID hit and the world shut down. However, the interest from the Abs Pro grew and more lifters from across the world wanted to compete on Europe's number one platform. 2021, we've seen the emergence of a new era of powerlifters join the platform with Luke Tolman, Dave Richardson, and of course, two times champion, Denise Herber, all making their debuts at the new venue in Ireland. 2021 was one of the coldest days on record, but despite the weather, the lifters showed up and put in some world-class performances with multiple IPF world champions and the emergence of new talents such as Luke Tolman, Denise Herber, and of course, Sir Dave Richardson. Denise Herber won her first Abs Pro female title, going eight for nine, and setting a new standard in female lifting at the Abs Pro. In the males lineup, we've seen the debuts of Luke Tolman and Dave Richardson. At the time, they'd never competed at the Abs Series, and they made their debuts at the Abs Pro. Despite Dave competing in sleeves, he pushed Luke. However, Luke had a nine for nine day a clinical finish and won his first Abs Pro title. That day cemented a new era at the Abs Pro, with multiple international lifters taking the platform, becoming a truly international event and a new chapter in head to head rivalries. After Abs Pro 3, Luke Tolman and Denise Herber looked unbeatable. The following year, nobody thought they were gonna lose the title. However, the Abs Pro had a different agenda, hence the Abs Curse. The Abs Curse, the curse has plagued so many champions. No champion has ever defended the Abs Pro title. They've either vacated or retired. In 2022, Luke Tolman looks to defend the belt. However, Dave Richardson is a new lifter and this time comes back in wraps. It all comes down to the last pull and Dave Richardson pulls, going nine for nine to take the win by less than one Wilkes point. In 2021, Denise Herber has to vacate the belt due to injury. This leaves the door open for one of the closest head-to-head -head battles seen in the female division. Andrew Zosso versus Laura Volgesang. Laura is the pre-con favorite with no one expecting her not to win. However, Laurel goes one for three in squats with Andra going three for three. This sets up a showdown in the final deadlift with Andra going three for three and nine for nine and becoming the first Swiss champion to take the Abs Pro belt. 
2023 saw our first African athlete, Nicholas Dupree. Nicholas was the pre-com favorite based off an impressive prep and no one saw Nicholas not going home with a belt. However, the abs pro is the abs pro and there's no competition like it. And out of nowhere, we've seen Big Boris put together one of the most impressive powerlifting performances ever seen on the abs pro platform or any platform for that matter. Nobody had Boris in the top three, never mind winning the event. He came out and made 400 look like an empty bar. The whole crowd cheered and at that moment, everyone knew the game was on. Nicholas came out for his third squat after making his second look tough. He missed his third and this gave Boris the fire he needed to push on and win the belt. Denise Herber made a return to the Abs Pro platform, the only lifter never to be beaten at the Abs Pro. However, she had to vacate the belt the year before and was looking to get her belt back. Denise once again put on a world-class performance, taking the belt back to Germany and has since gone on to retire from powerlifting. Denise left a massive legacy on the Abs Pro platform, winning the belt twice. However, she also left a massive void, yet to be filled by any female. The 2024, as predicted, has levelled up once again, with lifters from all around the world, five continents, all looking to battle it out for the world's number one powerlifting belt. With no defending champions, this year is the perfect opportunity for somebody to carve out a new legacy on the Abs Pro platform. One belt, one champion, August 17th, Dublin. See you there.